Welcome, everybody, to Cardinal Community TV Production. This broadcast is made possible through the district video, which is directed by Mr. Paul Ferguson, the advisors, Stephanie Wright, and Mr. Red Rogers. The DBC also consists of students from Brookside Middle and High School in the grade 7 through 12. We live stream after school events for grades 8 through 12, such as choir and band, plays, award assemblies, and any sport that we are able to see. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Cardinal Community TV, to never miss a production. Thanks for joining the broadcast. Hey, I'm Emily, and have you ever wondered how to get to our Cardinal Community streams on our school website? Well, even if you haven't, I'll show you just in case you need it for the future. First, you'll need to search sheffieldschools.org and then look over at the red bar on the top of your screen. If you look in the middle, there's an option called Core Community. If you hover over it, you'll see another option called Cardinal Community TV. Click on that and scroll down, and you can see features like upcoming events and an introduction to get to know more about our DVC. Scroll down to the bottom of the page to see some of our past live streams, and if you'd like to see all of them, click the blue here button below our social media to get access to all of our past streams. Thank you for listening to me explain how to get our streams through our school website. And have a nice day. Hi, welcome to the Cardinal Community. My name is Emily Atkins and I am the principal of Brookside High School. High school is such an important transition for students, both academically and socially. What happens during these years will have a lasting impression on their growth and development. My goal as principal is to ensure that students are attending school every day in a safe and caring environment with a challenging curriculum to successfully prepare them for the future. With an enrollment of about 500 students, grades 9 through 12, Brookside High School is the perfect place to have small class sizes, get to know teachers really well, participate in a variety of sports and clubs, activities, as well as make friendships that last a lifetime. We offer a variety of lectures and fine arts programs, honors classes, college credit classes, and have career and technical pathways available through the JVS. Brookside High School offers 20 clubs that students can get involved in. The majority of our clubs are service-oriented, where students develop leaderships and spend time giving back to our community. Our high school is eight years old, and it still looks as new as the day we opened its doors in 2015. Working together as a school and family partnership, we can help students reach their full potential. I look forward to meeting you and educating your child over the next four years. If you have any other questions, please contact our main office or follow us on Twitter at Brookside Cards. Thanks and hope to see you soon. Hey guys, my name is Ben and I'm a senior here at Brookside High School. And I'm Aiden, I'm also a senior here at Brookside High School. I'm Tyler, and I'm a junior. And we are all a part of the District Video Club. If you guys have a TV and are tired of watching our live stream on your computer, phone, or tablet, don't worry. You can now watch our stream on Roku TV, Apple TV, and Amazon Fire TV. We will show you guys how to find us on Roku, but it is very similar to how you find us on the other two. For starters, find the channels icon on your home screen and open it. There will be a search channels icon and click on that. In the search bar you will type in BoxCast. It's a green and white icon. Click on it and to the right it will say add channel. Click that, then it will say channel added. After that, click the go to channel. The app will open and then you will see a magnifying glass that says search for an organization. Then you will type in Sheffield and we'll see our Cardinal logo. Click on that. After you click on that, all BMS and BHS streams will be available. We hope you guys found this video helpful, and stay tuned for more ways to find our stream. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Michael Cook, and I'm the superintendent here at Sheffield, Sheffield Lake Schools. I'm happy you visited our website today. We have lots to share with you. I'm proud to say that in the last decade, we have made great strides here in our district. We have many co-curricular and extracurricular activities to offer. 
We've hired principals and administrators that are fantastic. Our staff is second to none, and our students are not only kind, but they're very hardworking, and they participate in many activities. Come along with me as we see some of this amazing school. Thank you to the voters who have supplied us with this amazing place for our students to learn. We're trying to make the best use of it as possible. I want to emphasize that our staff goes through an immense amount of professional development. Our students have the utmost rigor in their classes and we are preparing kids Zoom in as they come in. They're going to march here for us. Okay? So I, I would just already have your camera zoomed in. She's got a little, she can't get over there because the middle of this is like that. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Brookside High School Last Chance Band Show. We are excited to share all of our hard work that our fabulous band students have put in over the past 15 weeks. Sit back, cuddle up, cuddle up under a blanket in this beautiful fall weather we're having and enjoy the show. and the city of Sheffield Bridge, the Brookside High School Cardinal Marching Band. The Cardinal Band is under the direction of Adam Sampson, Jasmine Monticelli, Andrew Furio, and assisted by a percussion advisor, Gabe McWilliams.
Hawkins is pleased to welcome to the field tonight's featured guest, Cardinals from years past, members of the Brookside High School alumni band. if you are able and remove your hats for the playing and singing of the Brookside High School alma mater and remain standing to honor America with our national anthem. Ladies and gentlemen, please direct your attention to the 50-yard line as we introduce junior field commander Maggie Rising to the ladder. When's the last time you were Rickrolled? We are going to keep it going with our alumni on the field for this next classic by the Beatles. Question mark.
Our last song with the alumni on the field tonight needs no introduction. Orange! That was weak. Let's try this again. Orange! One more time for your alumni lane and the Brooklyn Cardinal Marching Band for the pregame. All right, good evening, everyone. My name is Ian Hill. I'm the Mr. Sampson. I am so proud of all of the students that are on the field and the ones that have just come off the field for the work they've put in and the work that they've done for the Cardinal Marching Band. Um, in the past years and this current year, I'm proud of all of the students that have come off the field for the work they've put in in the past years and this current year. We have seen so much growth, both on the field, musically, on their instruments, as well as maturity and growth as young teenagers. We'd like to take this opportunity to thank some of our biggest supporters as we wrap up this marching band portion of the school year and roll into our concert band season. First, a thank, huge thank you to Mrs. Atkins at Brookside High School. Mrs. Atkins is an extremely supportive principal and she's also a band mom. Next year, Sydney Atkins, load her in. 
We are so lucky to have her support and guidance in the front office. We also want to welcome Mr. Atchison, our new assistant principal this school year. Every Friday, he's excited and one of our biggest cheerleaders on game day. We'd also like to thank all of our administrators and school board members, including Mr. Atkins, Mr. Gregor, Mr. Cook, our superintendent, and school board members, Mrs. Jensen, Mrs. Check, Mrs. Miller, Mrs. Lopez, and board president, Mrs. DeLuca. It is very wonderful, and we are very lucky to work in a district where the arts are truly valued. Without saying, um, Mrs. Monticelli and I would love to thank our awesome co-worker, Mr. Andrew Furio. This is one you can always count on to keep our head level. Um, he has lots of wisdom when we're uh, deep in the trenches, always. He has continued to support um, so much with our collaboration and with our students. We are a great team, and we're super lucky to have him um, this year. Mr. F, Mr. Furio, short for Mr. F, Mr. F, is a senior this year. Two, since he started um, about four years ago as a student teacher from the Baldwin Wallace, Yellow Jackets, Aw Jackets. We'd also, of course, like to thank Gabe McWilliams for joining us at Brookside this year, um, working with our percussionist. Um, he was our drumline instructor. He held uh, weekly sectionals. Um, he is also a grad assistant at Kent State University, so he's always busy Friday and Saturday with his own commitments. He's also a drumline instructor at other schools, um, but he's come to a few of our events this season, and we are so lucky to have him working with our uh, musicians. He even has written a couple um, cadences for our band, which the drumline will perform for you in a little bit. So thank you, Mr. Gabe. And of course, the people who run this area, all of you that are sitting in the bleachers, we want to thank you for a wonderful school community with support from our school teachers, of course, and our staff, bus drivers, custodians, and everyone else community-wide, thank you. And next up, we'd like to introduce our senior band members. This is always a fun part. These students started high school in a band in a pandemic with no away games, hybrid classes, remember that? No band camp. And only about 52 kids were in the high school band back in those days. But they stuck with it and are definitely going to leave this band program better than they found it. We'd like to thank the juniors, the wonderful class of 2025, for coming up with these loving, very loving, and so um, supportive and um, loving <laughs> nicknames for our seniors. So first up, ooh, here we go. Number one is Bree, I Can Never Park Right Pathway. Run with being the good. Okay, next up, Alicia. Should I just skip band? Chess. Answer, no, you should not get banned. McKenna. Oh, I didn't see that stop sign. Herman. Always come to a complete stop, folks. No California rolls, Miss Kristen's. Yes, good advice. Alicia, I can tell the difference between Pepsi and Coke. Also, where's Ben? Camacho. This next person, you could probably hear this from miles away. It's number five, Katie. Good morning, everyone! How manic. That was pretty good. Good morning, Katie. Good to see you. It's too early. Next up, Christopher Care Bear Costello! Always good hustle. 10 out of 10. Alexis, I'm new here. Am I considered a senior? Should I be with the seniors? Fridley! Juniors, these are fantastic. 10 out of 10. Good work. 
Next up is Sierra. Why is it so cold in here? Jackson! Next we have Chloe. Where's Chloe? On our clear Weekman! Next up, Max. Which one? Rob! That's a good hustle. I like that. Good form. Next up, also in the trombone section, Carter, a.k.a. S. Ace Ventura Pet Detective Brown! This one's perfect for tonight. Next up is Rael. My hair is not going to fit in this hat. Dooley! Look at those beautiful locks. Rain soaked locks right under the sash and drum harness. Next up, Cameron fits inside his bass drum case. He's portable! Jackson! Next, we have Arios. Y'all need to shut up. Got him! Our Curry Hennessy. Her brother said, You're not wrong. Next up, Sydney. Chat. Is this real? Taylor! She's yelling at Bella C on that run. Ooh, boy. And last, but certainly not least, Aiden, ah, out of pocket, Mr. President Owens! If you haven't figured it out yet, this is Mrs. Monticelli. I want to take a moment to thank all of these wonderful seniors for sticking with band over the last years. I can vividly remember meeting all of you as fifth and sixth graders over here at Biz. My, how far you have come. Let's get up one more time for the seniors. All right, seniors, you may go back to your spot in the tunnel at this time. Thank you. We'd like to next up recognize oh, a picture. Sure, maybe take a point five. There you go. Oh, don't worry, they are. Yes. All right, very nice. Next up, we'd like to recognize our band leadership team this year as well. Hey band, when you hear your name, step and wave to be recognized. Band librarians, Katie, Bella, Maggie, and Ariana. Field commander, Maggie. Music captains, Ari, Abby, Lauren, and Ariana. Equipment managers in training, Jaden, Ethan Price, and Louie. Equipment managers no longer in training, Chris and Cameron. Band secretary, Ari, our Curry Hennessy. And BP, Sydney Taylor. And if you didn't know this one already, I've said it at least once. Band President Aiden Owens. In the learning department, we also have our squad leaders who helped out with passing out drill, making sure everybody know what knew what number they were, what inside versus outside of the yard lines means, all things like that. Let's give it up for our squad leaders. They are Lauren Bellacy, Lex Alani, Jordan, Aliciana, Katie, Lexi, Carter, Madison, Ethan Price, Max Wyatt, and Julian. Squad leaders! Next up, we have our section leaders. In the flute section, we have Brianna, assisted by Bella C. Oh, high five, that's so nice, flutes. Flute players are so nice. Next up in the clarinet section, we have Alicia, assisted by Sydney. And next up in the saxophone section, we have Ari and McKenna, assisted by Aliciana and Abby. 
In the trumpet section, we have Chris, assisted by Sierra and Elena. Next up in the mellophone section, we have a dynamic duo working together, Lexi and Ariana. Oh, sure, cute, with the brand new mellophones, nice. All right, next up in our Lorraine's department, we have the travel and baritone department, led off by Michaela, assisted by Max Rob. In our tuba department, those large sousaphones you see over there on the 35-yard line and 30-yard line, we have Aiden Owens. And last and heaviest, but certainly not least, we have Rayelle in the drum line, carrying the 40-pound quince, assisted by Cameron. The band is now going to get set up for a lope and Max is going to take them there at his leasure. While they're doing that, I'm going to read you this bullet point list of all the things I thought I should say to you. I'll go fast because the weather, it be a coming at any moment, at any moment. Is it raining? Oh, okay, sorry, here we go. Uh, okay, we have the bullet point list, folks. Here we go. Bullet point number one. Thank you to the parents, grandparents, guardians, and families. Thanks for driving your kids to band. Thank you, thank you for trusting us with them. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your money. Wow. Also, thank you to Kingsboroughs for pulling the band trail when we go anywhere. Their youngest, Devin, I already had the other one. One of the other ones. Their son, oh, he's, he's here too! Sure. Oh, hi guys! Um, anyway, Devin is a junior, so next year he'll be a senior, if all goes well in the credit department. And he, we will need some training on somebody else to pull the trailer. Not next year, but the year after. So if you drive a vehicle that can tow a trailer, you should let us know. All right, we'd also like to thank Coach O'Donnell and the football team for a great season. We would also like to thank the freshman families. Congrats, you made it through your first season. It wasn't so bad. Well, yes. We would like to thank those of you who donated to third quarter or volunteered to distribute string cheese, clementines, goldfish, takis, bottled water, Cubes of cheese, variety of cheese products, really. Um, popcorners, Doritos, anything like that. Speaking of food, we'd like to thank those of you who donated or sponsored a band dinner. We really have appreciated our team or our band dinners, uh, Friday nights and Saturday band shows, so thank you. That's a great tradition that we're able to continue. And I will say, many people are jealous of our band dinners, and uh, it's really cool. So thanks for keeping that rolling. We'd also We'd like to thank our uniform volunteers, volunteers those, those who coordinate with dry cleaning, sizing, assigning the uniforms, uh, summer uniform pieces, parts, ordering the shoes, contacting with Donna Bev, sweet Donna Bev. Thank, thank you to those of you who help out with the uniforms. Uh, thank you to those of you who helped out with band camp. I'm not sure if Mr. Jensen's here tonight, but we appreciate his, uh, you know, support and teaching the tubas. Also, we'd like, like to thank those who sold band band performance, performance travel tickets, moms, or participated in other fundraisers, as well as our band boosters, and especially our band boosters and officers. Thank you so much, everybody. Let's give a round of applause. Okay, last thing. Ish. Um, next Saturday, we have an indoor event for you. It's going to take place indoors, as in indoors. Okay, it's going to be at Sugar Creek Restaurant, just south of here, uh, in the village. And it is called Art After Dark. It's an annual event that Mayor John Hunter puts on for our wonderful school district. He is so, so, so supportive. Um, and Mr. Furio can give you more information about that, as well as Miss Lisa. We are selling $25 tickets to attend the event. Um, it's hors d'oeuvres, there'll be music. It's really a nice event. It's from 6 to 9 p.m. and it's adults only. So if you're sick of those people out there, you could just come to a wonderful fundraiser next Saturday from 6 to 9. It's temporary. Sick of them temporarily. You know, just anyway. I don't miss, I'm not sick of them. I'm just saying you are. You live with them. Uh, Miss Lisa will be 
uh, available to answer any questions, questions in the nest. nest. After, after the show, show we're also looking for basket, basket donations. The so week after next Saturday, Saturday on November 4th, is that right? Okay, uh, we have our first annual Scotch Doubles Bowling Fundraiser in a bowling alley. Speed box. And it's also, also adults, adults only, only, speaking of no kids. kids. And uh, we are looking for baskets to raffle as well as other things, things to make that a success. That is our first official Disney Trip 2025 fundraiser. So if you have a sophomore, freshman, eighth grader, or seventh grader, that is the crew that will go to Disney next. So if you have a seventh, eighth, ninth, or tenth grader currently, that crew will be going to Disney, and that is our first official Disney fundraiser. If you can't attend the event, we're looking for basket raffles. Things like that. Miss Kristen is heading that up. She'll be in the nest after the show. If you would like to commit to a basket or if you want to join um, a bowling team and you're good at rolling strikes and things like that with the pins. You don't have to be good at oh you don't have to be good at bowling in order to attend. Do you have to know about bowling? Do you have to have ever bowled? No. Oh my goodness it's open to everyone. All right I think it might be time. Is it raining? Okay, okay, great. great. Let's get back to the music, music folks. folks. Well, it's 10 weeks later, later, and apparently the bleachers here at Seven Stadium are still slippery when wet. From their 1986 album by the same name, here's the unmistakable Bon Jovi's Living on a Prayer.
of the 2003 Outcast Pocket is definitely shaking like a Polaroid picture. Put your hands together for Hey Ya!
the Sheffield Shuttle 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 Lake City Schools as we celebrate 100 years. Next up is one of our favorite Fall Out Boy hits. Here is Century.
Remember to see or reach out to Miss Lisa or Miss Hudson in the past after the show. If you'd like to attend or contribute to our upcoming August Star or Bowling fundraiser. For the world, the world's 